scammers which is like crazy in the market my 30 days were gone and then i was now in a very high peak of stress briefly talking on what are the procedures that you have to do when you are applying through all those applications hi guys welcome back to my channel this is sadh subha and welcome to my video so this is not going to be a vlog since i am very very tired this whole week so i thought of making this video a bit of informative video and also i was waiting for the right time so that i could share my own experience with you guys so if you have been following my channel you might have watched a video a few weeks ago where i was hunting an apartment in perth australia so yes this place where i am right now this house had 6 months of lease which have already ended which was in due end of april but the agent and owner was kind enough to extend for another one month so yes i will be mostly talking in this video how difficult it is to find an apartment here and also what are the things you have to like look on to get an apartment or a house so first thing i looked on was the facebook marketplace and also there are various type of pages in facebook where you can be part of that page and try to look on the advertisement they post every time but then the main problem here is the scammers which is like crazy in the market the first and foremost thing you know who the scammer is as soon as you start chatting with that person when there is a advertisement you send them is this available then they will say yes and then they will you will try to contact you will try to send them message like where is the location or when can i come to see the house they will send you another message saying that can you send us your email address so that we can send you the details as soon as you get this message stop uh chatting with them further because they are the scammers do not share your any information like your email address your phone number anything just know that the genuine owner or the agent of that house will directly ask you to come to see the house so whoever is asking you the information they are the fake ones and in my first one month i had like 60 days to find another place for 30 days i kept on looking in the facebook in marketplace because my friend again uh, if you are following my channel one of my friend had come in the month of february she stayed in my place for a few weeks she got her house from facebook and that was quite easy because she started looking in facebook and then after few days she got one house she went for inspection today evening next day she had to shift so that was quite easy procedure she did not have to like do so many procedures processes and uh, everything like that so i also thought maybe facebook can be easier to find a place quicker right so i thought of doing all of them but then my whole 30 days went in waste in that one month only one uh house i got with the genuine like house owner i went there for inspection but then that house did not deserve what the amount it was there and someone who gave a much much higher amount than what was supposed to be in the ad they got the house my 30 days were gone and then i was now in a very high peak of stress because still i wasn't getting any positive sign then my husband decided let's see from the all the applications like domain app we have tenant app and then real estate app let's not waste time in facebook and do the real thing so he started applying in the uh, all those uh, houses apartment which were nearby my place because since my work is near to my current apartment so we wanted to see a place which is still nearby here so yeah he started applying in every houses on monday like let's say monday then tuesday wednesday from wednesday we had inspection so yes he went inspection on wednesday for like few houses maybe four to five and on thursday again another six houses so in that following evening i used to apply when i reached back to my home from my work i used to apply in whatever my husband was doing inspection in the day time i used to apply in the evening and again on the next day thursday i applied another for the six houses so now i will be again briefly talking on what are the procedures that you have to do when you are applying through all those applications now it is all online you don't have to submit your 
copies hard copy in the offices and not like that nothing we have to do it's all online there will be a form kind of thing when you click on apply so the first thing yeah you have to do is submit your documents there will be primary documents and then secondary documents in the primary document you have to fulfill 100 points which will be having the passport section visa section you have to submit all those things and also you have to write the details on when is the expiry date and everything so that way your first primary documentation is completed next is the secondary documentation whereby there will be small small things that you have to submit and fulfill the another 40 points i guess i'm not sure about the secondary one but i think it's a 40 points so there the documents that you need will be the driving license if you have of the australian driving license like we are in western australia so we need if you have you can submit that wa driving license another is the pay slips of most recent ones like three can work so you can put on your pay slips and then another is utilities bill you have paid the bills of electricity water everything whatever you have paid so you can also put that one you need to put bank statement and another is the invoice or receipt that you have of the rent that you have paid for the current apartment so when you uh, submit all of these things your secondary documentation is also done now another next important thing is the living history here in perth so wherever you are living till now you have to give all your details their name number uh, email address so also you have to let that person know that you they are going to receive the call and also the email so be very quick enough to respond the email and also the call another thing is employment history wherever you have been working till now you have to also put that details and also let your boss know that they are going to get a call or a mail and please respond that thing so this is done another then next one is you again have to like mention two referees name your friend your anyone who is here living uh, nearby or you close ones you can give their number also they will be also getting the call and email so when this all of these things will be done all the verification is done then they will also see how much you have put on the money that you have placed for that particular house if the amount of that house is maybe 380 per week then I think you cannot put that same amount please be like smart enough to like place more amount because there is so much of people uh, in need of a house right now so everybody is going to put more 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 amount to get that house so whoever uh, quotes the maximum amount they are most probable to get the house which is I think not fair, very good idea right which is I feel which is very unfair but then this is what it is so yes this is how i have done my thing whatever i did the facebook thing it was full of scammers every day i was chatting and talking with all those scammers and i was so frustrated whole of that month and then i left that facebook thing and then i started looking for the uh houses in the domain app tenant app real estate app and then that was the all the procedures that you need to follow so i hope i covered everything and also one thing i need to tell if you are very new to this place if you do not have the living history or your employment history one thing you can do is facebook if you are not lucky enough you can also look into the groups like if you are botanist you can see you can be the part of the association in Perth, something something like that group i will just put it here that group you can be the part of that group and there you will get uh, there there are so many advertisements coming every now and then saying that we have a shared room available this much amount so you can try your luck there because these days many people are trying to take a bigger house with three bedroom four bedroom five bedroom with the bigger amount of money and then they put it in the advertisement the rest of the rooms that are not needed and then yes you can also get in that rooms for a few months after that when you have all the living history and everything you can then apply for your own house so yes this is all about this video i hope this was quite informative if you have still some doubt you can feel free to comment down and also you can directly text me in my 
Facebook or also Instagram if I am free I will try to respond to your messages I am not expert again I just wanted to share my views whatever information I know to you guys so that it will be a little bit helpful to you all so yes till then take care bye bye see you in my next video